Hello. 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 Isn't it marvellous to be here again? I've even got a load of fans. I'm fighting them off. But here we are with Gear Up TV, day two from Meba. And have we got stories for you? We're all about what's happening in the completions market today. We've got a fantastic story from Astronix, who actually certified a new antenna that can take live TV and data at the same time, but crucially, can put it on smaller aircraft. So that is an absolute win for the industry, for people who want these services simultaneously. We're also talking to GDC Technics, who are telling us about their innovations in the completion market and what's so special about what they're doing with their brand new Tiger team. We're also going to have a look at the Lufthansa Technic Mercedes-Benz style, so it's going to be fabulous! Thank you for watching Gear Up TV. Well, after that red carpet treatment, how could Boeing not invite me on board this beautiful BBJ? Only as far as the toilet, of course. However, flushed with success, I have the opportunity to bad pun my way to a link to Mr. Alan Peaford who's going to show you the Fokker window, which can actually now be installed on this type of aircraft. Well, interestingly, we're looking at today's papers, and if you're ever looking for puns in headlines, I think we've got them both here with Boeing upgrades to business glass and Boeing's broad vision and uh, windows of opportunity. And it's quite interesting in shows like these in the regions, you rarely get innovation <coughs> being seen properly. And it was great to see that Fokker and Boeing have come together. We saw this here at Mibar two years ago, and it came up as a great idea, and everyone was fascinated. Probably more fascinated than anybody else was David Longridge, who's the president of Boeing Business Jets. And he's gone, actually, this would really work for our type of market. So let's take it away, put it back to Seattle, see what happens. They've taken it over there. It's taken two years to work out how exactly do you fit a five foot wide window into the side of a Boeing 737 and it was a bit trickier than anybody ever thought it was but yesterday they were able to announce they've done it they're now able to offer that and they're getting people who are saying well actually we want to buy the BBJ Max 7 we don't want it if it hasn't got these windows in it and so it's a great thing for Boeing and it's great for Fokker and just look at it it's nearly five foot wide and big as three normal windows on a 737. You can get at least two of them on the aircraft, so it's going to give you more light and you're going to be able to sit there, drink your coffee, luxuriate as you're flying through the skies. So that was exciting innovation to see at the show. Thank you for watching Gear Up TV. So MEBA is our launch uh, business aviation show for our new certified Telmount uh, SATCOM product. It provides connectivity and live TV to the business aviation markets. It's all in one antenna, which is unlike any other product that's out there. So at the moment, there, you have to have two antennas. You have a DBS TV antenna and then you have a connectivity uh, internet antenna. So you have to have the space on the antenna for, I mean on the aircraft for two antennas. What we're bringing to the market is an antenna that does both in one package. So typically these antennas are on super mid-size and above. More often they're on the, the long range and the super large business jets. Uh, we're bringing this downscale to the super mid-size like the Challengers and the uh, smaller Falcons and smaller Gulfstream G280s. So we're going down, down market as far as the aircraft size to bring this capability. Right now it's certified on the Gulfstream G4 family, so the G4 and the G4SP. And then we're going to add to that uh, quickly, we're going to add on the G5 family, the G550, the G5SP. And then we'll expand from there to the other aircraft such as the Challengers, the Globals, the Falcon Jets. Thank you for watching Gear Up TV.
innovation, mother of invention, necessity, the completions market is struggling at the moment. And we've seen that oil prices are down, people are not spending the money they were going to. Business aviation is steadily in the bottom of a slump and hopefully will come back. What we're seeing is companies looking at different ways of doing things, different initiatives to help get through these difficult times. And it is going to be hard. I think it's going to be hard for the completions industry probably over the next two years. But those that are getting it are getting it right. And I think we're seeing the stack up that happened a few years ago. If you remember, we had too many aeroplanes and not enough completion centres for the, for the wide bodies. We've then seen it go the other way around. It will probably get rid of a couple of the little early players who didn't have the investment, but the, the big players are there. They're thinking about how can we do this and how can we reduce costs to help people take it through to the next stage. Thank you for watching Gear Up TV. Remember to like and subscribe to see more.